Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and today I'm going to show you a product I have been wanting for a long time. Something that will help me out tremendously here on my homestead. Uh, it's something everybody should have. And what we're talking about is the EBL 500 watt power station. Look at that dude. I know. And I have been using this and putting it through the test. Uh, as you know, I've been working on this deck up here. And, well, I go through a lot of batteries. And being that this is upstairs, I don't like to run up and down every day uh, to plug in a battery and grab another one. So I brought this up here with me. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And then we'll go through... And right now it's at 58% power. Uh, I charged six of these. I charged this battery six times. This size battery, five uh, amp hours. And all you do is you go over here, press the AC, plug her in. And there she starts blinking, charging up. Made it very handy. I just open the door right here, go in, unplug it, and I had a battery. So this is one feature. Uh, this will run a small mini fridge. Uh, you know, if your power goes out, you're going to use something like this to power lights, uh, uh, small appliances, things like that. I wouldn't run a microwave on it uh, or a big refrigerator. Uh, but, you know, you're going to need lights. You could power radios, whatever you, whatever you need to use. Charge your laptops. Okay. It also has a USB charger where you can charge your phones. You can plug in just about any type of USB there. And it has on top the wireless phone charger. I guess you just set it on there like that. You got to make sure USB is also pushed. And we'll turn that off. And it comes on and it tells you USB. Now this particular phone's not working on it. So I really can't, you know, prove that. It's an old iPhone 7, I believe. And I don't know anything about that, but it does have that capability. It also has a port where you can shut, uh, put a cigarette lighter outlet that it comes with. Right here. You can plug that in and power things that way. It comes with several cords. Uh, you can also charge this unit with your cigarette lighter. Uh, you can plug the, yeah this is the one you're going to plug into your cigarette lighter and uh plug this into the power unit but only if your vehicle is running say you're driving because you don't want to you don't want to charge this thing up when your vehicle is not running because it's not charging its own battery so that's another good feature and it also has a light and that's the led light it's pretty bright at night okay also has a carrying handle and this thing is probably I'd say eight nine pounds uh, it says it on the box 6.8 kilogram whatever that is I don't know I live in America ah, we use pounds so you could charge this if you're charging this in your house uh, from a wall outlet it's gonna take six to seven hours uh, if you're charging it from your car while well, say you're on a road trip it'll take seven to eight hours to charge and the third option that we have is a solar panel and that takes seven to nine hours depending on the solar conditions so let's get the solar panel set up and I'll show you how that works okay and the uh, fine people at EBL were also kind enough, can you see me in there, to send me the solar panel as well. Uh, it comes with this little pocket, and inside comes with various uh, plugs. And actually, it's connect. this is the connection for the solar panel. It also has these other attachments if you need them. All you do, now I'm out here on the deck where it's ideal for sun. It's full-on sun right here. Let's turn this around. Okay, let's make some room. And I'll take my unit here. 
very simple you have two connections here one's male one's female dummy proof plug that one in to there plug this one into there it also comes with several other uh, cords where if you want to run more than one uh, solar panel you can this is a uh, 100 watt solar panel and it just simply plugs into there okay let me get you in here and show you all right so if you are in a uh, situation where your power is out and you cannot plug this you know in in your house well the solar panel option is great and right now it's showing we are charging uh, yep it wasn't 58 percent but it's showing well i'm hovering over the panel okay 28 watts 30 38 let's well, vary in but it does show that it's charging so we're going to leave this on here to fully charge uh i did it the other day it charges almost as fast as if you were to plug it into the wall all right so we'll come back here in a little while we'll give it about an hour or two and then we'll come back and see where it's at all right it has been one hour and we have got the ebl 500 watt power station on the solar panels and right now let's take a look where we're at i believe 65 percent hope you can see that so in an hour we've went from 58 to 65 percent now that may like like i said it varies on sunshine but as you can see i am directly under the sun so this is a great place to do it now i did translate the 6.8 that is that the unit weighs 15 pounds still that is not a very heavy weight the nice thing about having one of these uh if you have a cpap machine uh this is capable of running a cpap machine uh let me see it does say how long it'll run a cpap machine without heated humidifier for 29 hours and that's pretty good and you can run a 32 inch tv for about seven hours all kinds of appliances so something really nice to have in a pinch all right and there you have it the solar panel the 500 watt charging station so many uses uh for this product that you know camping traveling it comes in handy for everything so i will leave a link in the description if you're interested in this uh, it's a win situation so i thank you for watching and uh, happy trails